like to welcome Sonia Grigorzewski and <laughs> Angelika Soma yes. um, to this uh, wonderful little talk tonight about your work. Mm -hmm. Angelika, um, this is a, a, a actually a crazy thing because another lady from another German lady who has gone back from Australia back to Germany got in touch with me, Sabine Schlosser. Mm -hmm. And she said, uh, Connie, I would like to introduce you to an artist. Her name is Angelika Summer, and I think you will like, you should connect. And she's coming to Australia. She's part of the Sculpture by the Sea. And, uh, and I think you will, you will get on really well. So uh, I got in touch with Angelika and said, this is Sabina connecting us. Uh, if you come to Australia, why not bring four little works or few little works with you? I include you in the show with Harald Pompel, also from Germany. Harald Pompel, oh, I know him. <laughs> <laughs> so Harald Pompel's work has not arrived yet. <laughs> so I thought, what to do? So here we are, Angelika has a beautiful artwork that was presented at Sculpture by the Sea and we had in Sydney, for the audience overseas, we had in Sydney the big moon, the really, really big moon. And what happens when the big, big, big moon comes, and another big one is coming actually next Monday, mm -hmm. uh, it creates huge waves, which we call in Sydney king waves king and king tides. Mm -hmm. And they become like, 10, 15, 20 meters high. It's amazing. Caused by the moon. Because we were thinking in the city, where was the storm? <laughs> there wasn't a storm. So it was the king tides. And it grabbed Angelica's sculpture. This is great PR. Yeah. <laughs> and for the rest of your life, you will have a story to tell. Yes, yes. So, so it's, it's, it's actually quite privileged in a way. It's, it's really amazing. So yeah. there were. Two, four sculptures that got taken, two were taken completely yeah. into the sea. Now her sculpture was uh, placed up on the top and it tumbled down yes. the rocks. It yes. wanted to go for a little walk. <laughs> uh, however, on that walk it got damaged and yeah. it was beyond damage to repair it here because this tiny, amazing little woman, when she's got her gear on, and the welding gear, welding machine, you would not even know her. So she decided not to repair it here in Australia, but to send it back to Germany. To, yes. And it's going to be in, uh, most likely, six not months. Not in good shape. Yeah, six weeks, six weeks work, mm. yes. waiting, waiting for her there. Oh. We also have Sonia, the director from the Goethe Institute, who supported that whole journey. And so I'm very, very happy that you're here tonight to have the official stand uh, from, and David Handy said, can we put uh, these, the talk tonight from the, uh, on the Facebook page on the Sculpture by the Sea? So I said, that's fine as well. So it was the uh, amazing 20th anniversary of Sculpture by the Sea. 20th. That's right. Mm -hmm. And uh, you yes. were part of it only for a very short moment because it was <coughs> only days. two, only oh, five two days. days. Five days? Five days, yes. I thought it was only two days. For 25. But it will last forever. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it will. It'll be in the media. The anyway, story will yeah. last forever. Angelika brought some works. Uh, she sent actually some works. And these works you can see here on these prints and two on the wall. And when Harald's works come finally, most probably next week, we're going to change the whole configuration as well. In the meantime, I try to find some art works that fit with Angelica, yes. short yes. notice. And so uh, in, in the adjacent uh, gallery, you will find three works by Jo Linsen, another German artist. Okay. And in the back, very beautifully, uh, Sydney artist Vicky Grace, who is also here tonight. Dorian, if you want to go around there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, um, and it's beautiful because they're very, very reduced and they all talk to each other yeah. Yeah, in a very beautiful way. Yes. Mm -hmm. you, I'm, I'm glad yes. you're yeah. so <laughs> over to you. Thank you that you are coming tonight to my show. Uh, and you me again tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. I so last night. We go back, my husband Wolf and I, we go back to Germany. Um, first, I have to apologize for my 
very bad English. Um, I didn't make an upgrade since my school days 40 years ago. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yes, I therefore I prepared a text uh, to tell about my work, and uh, it's written in simply sentences how I can make it. And if I um, yes, you can ask me some question questions, of course, and I hope that Connie will translate if I don't understand. Well, may, may, may I add? Uh, if you would be Korean, they wouldn't even speak anything until they would know it's perfect. So oh, yeah. you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to be perfect. <laughs> no, you don't want to be. It doesn't, there's no need to it. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not interested in color, or only in the second way. I make sculptures and therefore I'm interested in form or volume. Not to create new and excited forms, but in a form or volume, volume which is made of an excited structure. This structure is an organism, is organic. That's very important for me, doing this organic structure most in a clear or simple shape. These simple shapes, like balls, spheres, cones, cubes, you can see it on my website like this, helps me, help me not to get lost in this organic system, to find my way out of it. My works resemble nature because I work like nature does, slowly, welding or knotting, step by step, element for element. I put them together. I'm always trying to keep in touch with my work that what I am uh, and keep in touch with that what I am doing and with my material. I don't want to repeat nature and to make a copy of nature's production like fruits, flowers, blossom, capsules and so on. It's a second nature what I am doing and which I create. My nature, my organism is waving, waving, whirling. It makes proliferations. It pulsates, it flows, it grows, it circulates in other movies. My organism, organism have simple forms that makes sense for the sense of my sculptures. You see it in this exhibition. Four small pieces of my serie, serie titled Skulptur. It's a jointed word of two German words, Skulptur, which means sculpture, and Neutron, which means nucleus, atomic in which means the two senses are completed to one. Here it is in the sense of the beginning of being sculpture, the essence of sculpture. A new sculpture is born, Eureka. A sculptor is the ancestor of a sculpture. This is the proceed of each series, it has a special sense and a special idea, and I am walking around again and again around this sense by doing one sculpture after another, till I have the feeling that I have found the core of this idea. The series ends when I found approximately the right expression. Approximately. Because I'm not God, I'm not perfect. <laughs> Up to now, for the ser series Sculptone, I've made about 20, 25 pieces and it's not finished yet. I use metal, especially wire of steel, structural steel, stainless steel, copper, brass. Because metal is a very, very willful, arbitrary, peculiar material peculiar material. Steel for sculpture is a new material. Since Julio Gonzalez, the Spanish sculptor, 
used it for sculpture doing. I prefer a special form of metal. Metal in lines, like wire and tubes and ropes and bars and nets. This is a very contemporary material. They are modern. It, in this shape or form, you can get them since the Industrial Revolution in the turning from the 19th to the 20th century. With these new materials, I am networking with modern times. As a sculpture, I'm a networker. that I had no chance to see the work in that sculptures by the sea. Mm -hmm. That's really because I was too late. Mm -hmm. And when I read about this story that four of the sculptures just went to the sea, mm -hmm. I did not even realize that it was one of oh, yours. yours. <laughs> so um, that's really too sad. And yes. I'm very happy that at least I can see some of your work here tonight, which is great. So thank you very much for <laughs> taking this <laughs> opportunity and just grabbing her and, and doing that. And yeah, I hope maybe you, maybe this means you have to be back for That's one right. of the other sculptures by the sea and do another one. So yes. thank you very much for coming and uh, yeah, all the best for you. Thank you for your yeah. Because I'm sure you're very busy for the German uh, film festival. festival. Yes, and I forgot to bring the main shirts, which I wanted to. Yeah, so everybody is really welcome. To German Film Festival starts next week on Tuesday. So where is it? Chevelle. At the Palace, Palace? Uh, Chevelle oh, and uh, Norton Street. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Any questions? That was a beautiful uh, Yeah, I wanted to ask you about your material. Um, for example, this one here. Uh, what is the wire that you use? Steel wire. Steel wire. Yeah, I know it's steel, but any yeah. is it special? Is it coated? Is it no, high carbon? No, it's not coated. It's uh, uh, it's the the wires which go which is yes, yes. spreading out, spreading out, yeah. spread, spreading out. Is uh, you can bought it in in the shop. Uh, it's uh, rolled um, on a on a little bit of hardware store wood yeah, and, and yeah. it's a normal normal wire. So because it will rust. this is not it can rust. It, it will rust. rust outside. Okay. Yeah, but yes, of course. Yeah, I'm just wondering about that. But it's not it's not the kind of wire that we buy on a roll in a hardware store in Australia. Yes, no. you can buy yes, the yes, gardening you wire in huh? Germany. Yes, the gardening yeah. wire at Bunnings. No worries. Oh, the gardening <laughs> wire. Oh, okay. oh, Buy that I again. don't know the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. now it's the same. Oh, it's just like so you buy that in the gardening section. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How did you work Four, on three hundred fifty kilogram sculpture? Yeah. Now seeing you make it even more. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like I, I said. I do. I well. Element for element. I make pieces. I make pieces of. Uh, wire of tubes, I bend the tube, a piece of tube, and I put them together to make the form. And I put it like welding. What sort of tubes do you use? I haven't seen any, there's no tubes here. So the big ones. Yeah, what, what are they? Have a look in the cabinet. What? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Things you buy. That's the big tube. Yeah. Steel tubes. They're steel tubes. So Not tubes. the pipes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The yeah. pipes. So, yeah. yeah, pipes. So yeah. you have to to bend them. Yep, yep, yep. And then you, you weld them. Weld them. And how? So you can fix it. Yeah, yeah. And how? Those. How do you bend them? There's a machine. You can. Oh, Use a machine. In every yeah. form, in yeah, every yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. every bend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I know. Great. Great. It's a very small.